to hear the word and to hear the truth. But we'll get a venue next time in New Haven and talk to even greater populace. But I'm happy to see you here in Bridgeport like this. This was good numbers. I don't care if it was three of y'all. I was just trying to talk to you. Dictate. What does dictate mean? It means to command authoritatively or it is an authoritative command. The word the or the is the definite article. Right. It means precise, clearly defined. It means something certain. And an agenda is a list of things that must be done. So when we say that time dictates the agenda, we are saying that this is a period of work and proper moment for an authoritative order or command that is the definite article of a list of things to be done to be given to the people. And I'm going to go straight to the point. I'm advancing as a representative of the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan that he is the man to give that authoritative command right. for us to get up and do something for ourselves. Yes. From this year's or last year's Day of Atonement message in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan started to talk about urban agriculture. He talked about manufacturing coming back to America. This is a port city, but does not have the kind of ships coming in and going out like it used to because manufacturing have left the shores of America and they're at everyone else's shores. But manufacturing was the bedrock of this nation. And as soon as the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan talks about manufacturing, then you hear from President Obama and from his administration that he will give out incentives to companies that do more manufacturing here than they do elsewhere. Now think about that. I'm letting you know that they're listening to Minister Farrakhan. This is not coming out by abstract. They're listening in. Paying attention. You ain't going to tell me my bow tie was off the shirt. You just going to let me just look like that? Come on. All right. I just happened to feel it. I don't know what's up with these bow ties. I love them, but man, we got to get some new clips. See, manufacturing, we got to get some new clips. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. White Shirt. So, what we need to do, somebody need to go and make a strong clip since we wear the FOI, wear the bow tie. That's right. We'll buy them. That's right. Many bow tie, many bow tie producers we got. So I'm proclaiming it right now. Somebody needs to go make a stronger clip for the bow tie because the one that presently exists is weak. That's right. I have to go get one of them tied up and put it on. All right. Now, so I'm saying to you that Minister Farrakhan has that right to call us, and he's the only one who is calling us. As a matter of fact, for this year's Save Is Their Dress. This month, Sunday, February the 26th, a critical voice in a critical period of time. The Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan says, if you want to hear a real message from God, listen to me this say this. I will tell you what will happen with America in 2012 and beyond. Now, I would have listened to a man like that who told former President George Bush, I think that Iraq is easy pickings. Right. You want to go in there and run into something you never expected to find. That's right. That's right. And they ran into something they didn't expect to find. Mm -hmm. The minister said tens of thousands will come back in body bags. Did tens of thousands come back in body bags? Yes, yes they did. He said tens of thousands will come back maimed. Did tens of thousands come back maimed? Yes, they did. He said many will die by suicide. Tens of thousands have committed suicide. Many of them will be victims of domestic violence and domestic activities. And all in the middle of the country, they've been offering their wives and their children. Check where they've come from. He told them, the President Bush then, Bush Jr., that you will do more to bring together Muslims in that part of the world than any caliphate or any caller of the faithful. He did it. He said, this presidency of yours will go down in disgrace. Mm -hmm. And he's recorded as the worst of all presidents. Right. Mm -hmm. And now they're trying to bring President Obama right down with him. Mm -hmm. yes, Having him now become the modern day assassin. Yeah, that's right. And revel in the killing and the murder of Colonel Muammar Gaddafi right. at the hands of the rebels. If someone drops 10,000 bombs on you, how do you think you would take it? So you would survive. That's right. And they caught him alive. 
and then they killed them. That's right. And no one cares that you took a world leader, good, bad, or indifferent. That's right. We're not saying he did all good by his people. That's right. But he did more good than any bad. His good outweighed any of his negatives. He built the country up. He brought water out of the desert in Benghazi. He put everyone in a home before he even put himself and his family in a home. So it's one thing after he's gone to show where he lived, but when did he move in? He nationalized the oil, and every Libyan got something from the oil. Find out what's going on and check out what's going on in Libya now. You don't like Minister Farrakhan's politics. You need to get with his politics right. rather than the world politics that's going on now. That's right. That's right. So we're not here to talk about Libya, but we're talking about injustice. If time dictates the agenda, then this signifies the precise, clearly defined, and certain message from the messenger of God to a people, community, nation, and the world. Well, what is that? message, brothers and sisters. Well, I want to take you to a book written by the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan entitled, A Torchlight for America. Minister Farrakhan speaks in this chapter on greed and leadership state of mind, America on the brink of anarchy. Look at what he says. However, the desire of the wicked is to harm me and to destroy the idea that I carry so that black people and all who would listen cannot and will not make the type of progress that the time demands. The time now is demanding that we do for ourselves. How do we know this to be absolutely true? Because the Honorable Elijah Muhammad said a day will come in America where whites of this nation will not have enough jobs for their own people, more or less for you and me. Are we living in that time? Yes, sir. Is there mass unemployment in the black and Hispanic community? Yes, sir. yes, and it's being driven because the brother who just came home, they want you back in the penile system. That's how upstate, and even here in the state of Connecticut, they can send their children for four years to college. That's how upstate they can get their new Ford F 150. And I'm not knocking the F 150 because I like it myself, but you understand my point. They can ride in them while we riding in the putt putt. Or we sitting there waiting for the train or the bus to come. That's right. It's driven. The sad thing is, some of us, we give them a hula hoop to reach through to pull us in. That's right. Brothers, sisters, we have to stop illegal activity. We have to stop petty theft and robbery. Come on, that's right. We have to stop these grand schemes that get us locked up into the devil's trap. And we, the devil, getting caught up in the trap. You think the devil is the one ensnaring us? It's us who are acting like a devil. Because a devil is one who's in opposition to the will and the way of God. And when you do wrong, that's an opposition to the will and the way of God. Thus, you become a devil. Whether you're a black devil, Hispanic devil, Mexican devil, Arab devil, white devil, devils are devils. That's why the Bible says that Babylon has become a habitation of devils. There was no color put on the devil. And we misrepresent the teachings of the Amalaj Muhammad. By saying only the white man is a devil. There's black devils. And the worst devil Minister Farrakhan teaches is a black devil. Because you're the father of this devil. Because of rebellion against God. But this is not about the Caucasian man yet. He's the number one rabble rouser on the planet. He's the chief deceiver, liar, cutthroat. On the planet, he pips out his own woman from the West Coast in magazines and tapes. Talk to me in clubs. White black men ain't know nothing about no clubbing. You learn that from the white man. Black men didn't learn nothing about stripping his woman down naked. You learn that from the white man. Come on, teach, bro. Come on. So while our focus is not on him. We're not going to give him a free ride. Right, that's right, that's right. As though he's done nothing wrong. <laughs> the hidden hand. But the Honorable Elijah Muhammad said, I can teach you. I'm going to teach you. And if you follow me, I'll make you so wise that the devil will be like a string around your finger. And you will forget that he's even there. So we have to become wise. 
Yes, sir. And the only way to become wise is to study wisdom. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Knowledge. Huh? That's the only way to become wise. Now, this bow tie don't operate right. I'm about to take it off. Yeah, I'm about to take it off. I hope we get it right. Okay. Everyone all right? Yes, yes sir. sir. Okay. Now, the minister says that our enemy, open enemy, which is better than just saying devil, especially since we act like devils too. Right. Open enemy. And it's clear cut that he's against our rise. Because our rise means their fall. Understand that now. When a people have been so low as we've been, for us to talk about doing for self, for us to talk about uniting and uniting our resources, woo! That means the fall of someone else. You've been a renter, but now you want to really own? And that means the one that's been collecting your rent can't collect it no more. That's right. That's right. That's right. Right or wrong? That's right. You don't think that they're going to find a way to keep us in the same condition? Why would you want to? These, the disadvantages of owning. Yeah, but, uh, excuse me, but you own. Yes, yes, well, you know, because it's been in the family. Well, guess what? It's going to start being in my family. Right. Starting right now. So you're not going to talk me out of only for myself what is the right thing that I should do. Okay? Now, let's go on, let's go on. The Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan said, It appears that there's a genocidal plan against black people. The desire of many of those in power is the maintenance of white supremacy. Whites and their institutions have created inferior-minded black people with a slave mentality. They are those who do not wish to see us as equals in the society. So generation after generation of black people have been corrupted with a slave mentality. And generation after generation of white people have been poisoned with the doctrine of white supremacy. However, the presence of truth condemns both mindsets. White supremacy, black inferiority. The time of white supremacy and black inferiority is over, so says Minister Farrakhan. This is why it appears that an organized effort is underway to destroy black youth. Youth are more readily inhaling the ideas and truths that can free the mind from the former controlling forces of white supremacy and black inferiority. Their hearts and their minds are inclining toward interest in self-knowledge. As a result, there are those who fear that our youth are no longer afraid to resist white supremacy and reject its efforts. This is real. Young people today are fearless. That's why we kill one another. That's right. We'll bust a cap in one another like there's nothing and go home and lay our head down. Misplaced energy. Young people today, you mess with them today? Oh, no, you, you got to worry about whether there's going to be retaliation. That's right. Huh? That's right. That's we used right. to fist fight when we came up. Right. We can't do all that stuff we used to do when we came up. I don't want to, I look silly right now doing all that stuff we used to do. All this other, man, you don't do that today. Man, go ahead. Go ahead and get friends with all that. I got something for you right now. You're going to slow your roll and run in the other direction. I'm going to put some fire, some heat up on you. That's right. That's right. Not That's right. And how many mothers has it caused pain? Right. And let me just say this to you mothers Remember whenever you lose a child and there's a daddy around The father's in just as much pain as you That's right You more because you carried us That's right. But the father watched us grow and nurtured us His life germ formed us So daddy's hurt too Is that right? So don't leave the black man out And you know you got a caring loving father Don't leave him out who oh, lost my child? No, me and my husband lost our child. Right. Me and his father have lost a child right. today. That's right. I know what the book says about the errant ways of the child is the heaviness of the mother, and that's how powerful you are. Yes. But when your child hasn't been errant and has been lost to police brutality or fatricidal homicide, mm -hmm. the fathers have lost someone too. That's Don't right. leave your black man out. That's right. Don't leave your man out of the equation. Mm -hmm. And brothers, don't leave the woman out. Be respecters of this. Why are we on that point? We don't benefit brothers disrespecting a woman. Mishandling her. You're mishandling the key to the kingdom of God. Yes, sir. Now it's one thing to say this. It's another thing as a man to practice this, right? Now, what's going on with the youth?
The minister says the youth have the basic qualities, listen, of what it takes for seeking liberation. So if we are middle aged brothers and sisters, we have to now develop a youthful mind to have the qualities for liberation. Many of us don't want to go free who were members of the civil rights era and before because our minds is of the old thinking. Who are we going to vote for? Voting! It's not going to bring us no solutions. The Honorable Muhammad said, the politics is not the panacea to any of our ills. Our root problem is a spiritual one that necessitates a spiritual solution. Politics is just a necessary tool of advancement. That's all it is, like a tool in your toolbox. You use it for this, and then you put it away until the next time you need it. That's right. Politicians have acted like they are the gods of the world when they have ruined everything. Yes, Who today running for political office does not have a skeleton in their closet? That's right. Every one of them. Right. And McCain thought they was going to let another black man lead the pack. The heck they were. They said, oh, no, no, let's shake out what's in this band's uh, history. We got something on him, and let's pull it out. Why didn't they pull it out in the very beginning? Why, why that woman didn't feel like a consciousness when she knew he was running? He was already out there. First debate, second debate, third debate. Now you decide to come out? Now you decide he's not worthy? Then there's others behind that one? Oh, no, America wouldn't let another. They let the first black man in. Thought Bill Clinton was your first black president. You lied to yourself. Now you get a real black president. We're not letting another one of the Negroes get up in here today. So get him out of the race. This is going to be a white man's race against the black man. Mitt Romney, take the country back. McCain, take the country back. Newt Gingrich, take the country back. Sarah Palin, take the country back. From who? Last time we checked, it's white people, for white people, by white people. Black and Hispanic just happen to be a part of the equation. So we can take it back from. Let me prove my point. You think you integrated in America. No, we just living in America. We are like a cake that has been baked. And the ingredient of the black and the Hispanic or the brown and the black have been left out. And you know what they said? Oops, we forgot. The Aboriginal people. Pull it out and let's sprinkle them on the top. That's right. Bake the cake. When you pull it out, the first thing to fall victim is the sprinkles. We don't need the sprinkles. I just want the cake plain. That's right. That's what we are. Now, just in case you think that there's some hope where we are. The hope is in the kingdom of God that's about. To come. That's, right. That's, right. That's, right. that's not one of self-righteousness. Mm -hmm. That's not one of judgment of anyone. Mm -hmm. Yet. Yet, 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 yet. Mm -hmm. Because we don't judge. Right. Right. Does not mean brother to brother, mm -hmm. sister to sister, mm -hmm. is going to get a pass. That's right. Did you hear what I said? Yes, yes, sir. Hello, good night. <laughs> Hello, goodbye. Do you understand yet? Yes, sir. Alternative lifestyles. Yes, sir. Oh, if any of you in the room are part of alternative lifestyles, God bless you. You're a human being. Heterosexuals have fallen short of the glory of God, so we can't judge you and you can't judge us. But brothers and sisters, I'm sorry for the grace of God. It's not proper that a man be with another man in the name of love when it is right. lust. And it's not proper for another woman to be with another woman in the name of love when it is lust. Mm. Let me prove something to you real quick. Come on. Mm. When there Come are two on. men, there's always a softer one and a harder one. Talk to me now. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. It's interactive teaching. Right. 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 right now. When you find lesbianism, one of the women you call a dyke. That's right. Very offensive name, but why? Because one of them dresses masculine. That's right. Jeans of the man. Timberland boots. Hat like the man. Talk to me. Uh, you ain't got to tell me. I just seen hundreds of them at a funeral we had to preach at. That's right. For a young sister who was of that background. Hundreds of them. That's right. Beautiful sister, but the other sister looked like a, a brother. That's right. So you are mimicking 
in the alternative lifestyle community, the male and the female, the way God made it. But because women have been hurt in this world, men have been hurt in this world, men have turned to men, women have turned to women because of the misuse and abuse of men. And it's inordinate. But then the heterosexual, we ain't no better than the alternative lifestyle. Because if we're supposed to be an example of them getting better, my God. We got some work to do. We got some messed up male-female relationships. How many times you gonna get married? Come on. I mean, just ask yourself. Come on. Come on. How many times? Come on now. I mean, once, twice, three. I mean, we because we gonna get it right sooner or later. All of us can taste divorce some point in time or another. Some of us never have, but most of us have. But we're gonna get it right. Man, do we ever desire to get it right? And then you know what you say? I'm never going to get married. Okay, good. But do you have needs? Yes, I do. And I intend to have them met. Oh, so you're just going to give it away. No, I'm not going to give it away. Well, that's what you're doing. <laughs> the brother tells you sex with me is going to hurt. Not the act, but when I get up and leave after we finish. Because I'm not going to desire to stay with you. That's the kind of man that you want? Come on. Or is that the kind of woman you become? Think? Because women sometimes can be just as cold as brothers. Oh, even cold. When you turn cold, oh man. You, you run a man to another man. Only a helper of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad's teachings on the Minister Farrakhan's God is going to talk to you like this. This is real. Living. This is Resurrection 101. So what we're saying here is, in the time we live in, we need strong families. We're appealing to those who are married. Who are married right now? I ain't worried about what you did in the past. How many marriages you had. You're married right now. That's work to make it work. You know who you married. Stay in love with them. Stop complaining. All of a sudden, you don't know this person. You know them. Now, if you've just changed, brother, then like we need to separate from our open enemy, there needs to be separation in marriage. If you've changed, sister, you're no longer going in the same direction, then you need to separate. But many of us are doing it, and we're going in the same direction. We're on the same train. We're in the same car. We just don't want to work it out. Because it's easier to break apart than stay together. That's right. Now, granted, some of us need, when you need to just leave. Right. Sisters, you know, I told you for years when I had the radio program, run when the dude is not right. All you in, run. Leave him. Especially if you're trying to be a dentist in your mouth. Bust him up first, but then leave him after you bust him up. And let him know that he just can't do anything. Okay, you gotta bust up a man. Right. Don't let no man think that he can put his hands on you. That's bust right. him up. That's right. Make him know that he pays a price for touching the woman of God. That's right. Huh? I was playing around one day with my wife. I was just playing around with her. You know how you do when you was growing up and you mushed the sister? You know, you just playing with her. And man, before the matrix came out, she did one of them loops. <laughs> Hey, I would do that again, bro. <laughs> so you don't worry about that one. Yeah. Right. I sleep too hard. <laughs> I do wake up easily, but I still sleep too hard. I like my sleep up in here. She said, yeah, that's right. You have to sleep like this. <laughs> that's right. You got to work. If we want to understand how time dictates the agenda, one thing on the agenda of God is we got to get and, and return to strong, functional families. Yes, sir. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. If you're presently going through divorce, or you've been through one, make it as amicable as you can. Mm -hmm. Think about the children that you've produced. Minister Farrakhan says on how to heal the men of broken hearts, stop breaking the heart. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And brothers, we got to stop thinking grass is greener on the other side of the fence. Right. Yes, right. That's right. And sisters, you got to stop thinking it's greener too. Because I've been listening to these programs in Hartford. My radio station connects me right over here to Hartford. 93.7. That's right. That's right. Mm. And I be hearing what I be hearing on 105.1. 97, late at night. Oh, yeah. Mm. I, I had 
How many men did you have? Well, I had more than five fingers on both of my hands. Oh, my God. And the girl is happy with it. Who going to want that woman? If you ever run into her, well, you don't want to hurt on the radio? Yeah, oh, going in another direction. You can't build family like that. Brothers, you can't build family and you produce a baby and you ask a sister, well, whose is it? That's right. When you know the only one she's been with is with you. And you know she's the only one that you, she, you're the only one that she's been with because you keep tabs on her. You got a cell phone, you got her pager, you got a satellite system tracking her. You don't ask her whose baby is it. You don't even give her no doggone breathing room. That's right. That's an insult to that sister. Then when you sit, well, what are we going to do? What the hell are we going to do? We're going to have the baby. Really? Man, you know what that would do to me? No, I know. Yeah, what it's going to do to you is you're going to be a father. That's right. Come on. All of this contraception madness. Yes, yes. If we just follow the way of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad, he says in his illuminating book, Message to the Black Man, the revelation put in book form, the Honorable Elijah Muhammad says, birth control for social means or purposes is a sin. There's nothing wrong with controlling birth, but don't use that wicked pill that kills you from within. There's ways to discipline oneself. Don't produce children beyond your ability to take care of. Right. You put it in, brother, you made a deposit, then there's going to be a withdrawal. You can't complain. One child, two children, three children, four, five children, six children, seven children, eight. Guess what? They're yours. One woman, two women, three women, four. They're yours. Notice what I'm saying. Yours. Ain't mine. I got my five. I added mine. I did enough fruitful and multiplying for the black family. <laughs> Mine didn't want to let me leave the house today. She's 16, fighting me to go out the door. So I gotta go now, but I will return. <laughs> Point is, brothers and sisters, we have to become functional as a family. We really do with one. Stop the infighting. Stop the cussing. Stop calling her out of her name. She's not an itch. She's not a female dog. Stop calling the brother out of his name. You understand what I'm saying? And you know when you get upset with him, you say, hey, you, you nigga. You, know, you get him upset. Then you just don't say nigga. You say, nah! Head start shit. That's a deep. That hurts. Head start rolling. And the brother gets hurt. You ain't nothing, ain't never been nothing, will never be nothing. That's right. You are nothing. I can't drink with the napkin on it, but <laughs> Don't do that. Don't do that, sisters. Be respectful. You can upbraid your man, and we have to understand we can be checked by a woman. That's right. That's right. You know wrong with us checking us. That's right. She's our help meet. Not help mate, help meet. Let's go on to a few more points and we close this out. And then I want to hear your questions that you may have. What is the agenda of Allah God? One on the agenda is that the first, the last, shall become first. So there's no hopelessness. There's no helplessness for us. I don't care what condition we're in. I don't care how much we're